What is up everybody it is your boy Matt Turner back again with another video here on my channel I like to talk about fitness uh, do product reviews and document my transition as a black trans man if any of those things interest you I highly encourage you guys to subscribe and hit the bell notification button so you guys can stay up to date on when I post videos but without further ado let's get right into this now as you can tell by the title of this video I will actually be discussing um, some guidelines and tips and tricks that you can use for um, getting back into working out after um, top surgery. I did in the past post a video going over how I was working out after top surgery. However, it's not very um, informational, I will say. It's more of just kind of like talking about what I'm doing, whereas this video will be going over um, base by base kind of how you can apply um, what I did to your own situations um, and kind of guide you into you know getting back into full-on training right after top surgery. There are some th quick things that I do want to go over before I get um, super in-depth. Um, do remember that you are coming back from a surgery. Make sure you are taking things slow. Make sure you are doing things at a comfortable space, at a comfortable pace. Um, you do not want to add any unnecessary injury to yourself because coming back from a surgery and pushing yourself too hard too soon will in fact indeed lead to you possibly delaying any progress or actually just injuring yourself further. Secondly, even if you think that you can push another part of your body, such as your legs, I know a lot of trans guys after top surgery like to talk about, you know, going hard on their legs since the surgery happened only up top. Do realize that working out hard in one another area outside of your surgery site can in fact impact your surgery incisions. This can be due to a lot of different variety of reasons, such as just an increase in blood flow, which is one of the main things that top surgery actually is concerned about. You do not want to increase your heart rate too much after top surgery. That is a big no-no. That is one of the big reasons why they actually don't want you to be working out right after surgery. So just do know that going super hard on other parts of your body, even if it is not the area that had the surgery, can impact that surgery site. And lastly, um, <clears throat> even though I am giving the guidelines for all of this, um, top surgery is a little bit different from coming back from a actual muscle injury. Um, top surgery is more plastic surgery. It does not actually have anything to do with, you know, like fixing your chest muscles or anything of that nature. It is simply just removing tissue um, without actually, you know, messing and impacting the actual muscle unit. So your muscles will, for the most part, feel like they can work completely like normal. Um, so this recovery stage, this kind of getting back into um, working out like normal may move very, very fast. But again, make sure that you are being very, very aware that you should take things very slow. You should do things at a comfortable space. And even when you feel like you should move on to the next stage, that you are kind of, you know, being very cautious and um, conservative with how you are lifting and in the weights that you are lifting. Now, with all of those gone, um, let's get right into this video now. <laughs> I set this up into three different stages. It is going to be um, pre-clearance for any kind of exercise, and then it will move into um, post clearance so after you get you know kind of like the 15 pound rule and then finally it will move into um, working out post clearance for that six weeks or whenever they give you kind of the 25 pound dumbbell rule um, 25 pound rule <laughs> not dumbbells <laughs> so first up pre weightlifting 
uh, clearance. This is usually around the time, like two weeks after surgery, where maybe you have already gotten your drains out and they have cleared you for kind of like walking and stuff, but you still can't lift heavy. You shouldn't really be working out. During this time, my biggest advice is going to be focusing on nutrition and just light cardio. Light cardio will help boost some of your recovery because exercise is somewhat correlated with um, having recovery and then focusing on nutrition, dialing in your nutrition. So making sure your calories are right, um, making sure your nutrition is on point is going to be very, very helpful. Um, making sure that you are getting in enough calories in order to actually fuel your recovery is going to be very, very important. So just making sure that you have your nutrition down um, is going to benefit you in the long term, especially since you will be more on point once you finally get back into your um, full on training again. Um, with that being said, do not make a ton of changes to your diet. Um, during this recovery period, if you were eating a certain way, like you were maybe eating a little bit more junk food, maybe you like your diet wasn't very, very clean before your surgery, do not make a ton of changes after your surgery during recovery just because you can actually stress your body out with too many changes and that's the last thing that you want during your surgery. So maybe day by day, eat like a little bit healthier, maybe eat like junk food just a little bit less, maybe add in a little bit more leafy greens, maybe more salads. Um, doing just small things will be very, very beneficial in the long term and making sure that you're not stressing your body out any more than necessary during your recovery period. Moving on from that, once you have finally gotten clearance for, you know, lifting um, the 15 pounds, for me it was 15 pounds, for your surgeon it might be something completely different. Once you have gotten this clearance, you can um, finally get back into the gym. If one thing I forgot to mention for the last one, if for cardio you just really, really want to get in the gym, definitely feel free to go to the gym and walk on the treadmill. Um, that is definitely okay. That's what I did. Just make sure that you are taking it easy. Now, with that post clearance for the 15 pounds, uh, of being able to lift 15 pounds, uh, make sure that what you are doing is low weight but high reps. You want to really make sure that you are focusing on the full range of motion and getting back your full range of motion after surgery. You don't need to use a lot of weight with this. Um, I had a very, very, very good uh, mind-muscle connection and 15 pounds was definitely all that I needed um, during this time frame. So just making sure that you are doing high reps, but not giving yourself like soreness in that area, maybe not even really getting a pump in that area, but really just kind of focusing on bringing all of your leverage and mode, um, range of motion and flexibility back to where it was before um, can be very, very beneficial. So for instance, what I mean when I say this, um, before surgery, I could do a bench press, full range of motion all the way from the top, all the way down. I felt no pain, no tension whatsoever outside of, you know, the muscle contraction that should be occurring. Um, however, post-surgery, when I first attempted the bench press, it I had the full range of motion, like I could go from the bottom to the top. However, it felt very unstable. Um, it felt kind of like a little bit tight in the chest. And so what I did instead was I switched to using cable towers um, and just allowing myself to, you know, kind of la get as much height as I could. Um, and stretch as I felt I was comfortable with, with the actual kind of cables. Um, but really this just allowed me to be as high or low as I really felt like I was comfortable with, with my chest. Um, I generally started out first with um, the lowest setting and kind of working on my chest um, coming up and really doing inclines. And then I, um, but slowly but steadily to higher and higher ranges of motion until I felt comfortable actually grabbing all the way from the top and bringing that cable all the way down. But again, just a reminder, you do not want to go to failure on this section. You do not want to really put a lot of tension on your chest right now. It is mainly just focusing on getting back full range of motion, getting comfortable with the stretch of your chest again after, you know, not 
really being able to use it for two weeks and like literally surgery um so just don't don't feel the need to push yourself too hard just really focus on mind muscle connection that will benefit you in the long term because once you get back to full training again you'll really really be able to fill your your muscles like i can fill my muscles really really well now just working with the cable tower has allowed me to really build my mind muscle connection which has helped a ton in my current training moving on once you are six weeks post-op or you have been given clearance for that 25 pound limit um, that is what i got from uh, my doctor um, make sure you are still taking it easy dill do not increase your weight um, you can increase them a little bit, but you don't want to go all out just yet still. Your body is still recovering at six weeks, as you can tell, even with things like lat pull downs, you will feel a lot of tension on your incision side. So you still do want to take it easy during this period. In fact, I would actually highly suggest that increasing the weights and just focusing on pause reps, really kind of stimulating the muscle, but like not with super heavy weights and going all out but really just you know concentrating on building the strength back up for your muscles during the section is going to be the best um just so you can slowly but surely you know kind of get closer and closer to working to failure but you do not want to actually go to failure during this section just yet you just want to be working a little bit on strength um and kind of still doing higher reps but low weights but you know a little bit higher than when you only had 15 pounds obviously <laughs> now for those of you who are concerned about working out your back i know i surely was because um like i said previously at six weeks you can still stretch your scars out especially if you try to move too fast with things like pull-ups or lat pull downs so i actually highly suggest just doing the row during this time period the row still works your back um, in fact there has been some actual data brought out recently um, for those of you who don't watch mike is or tell you probably don't know this but those of you who do um your back does have a minimal recoverable volume and a maximum recoverable volume and switching off from your back to and certain um movements and kind of like contractions can actually help to stimulate growth in those areas so taking a break from lat pull downs and pull pull ups is not that bad it actually could be um, really beneficial for your back if you before surgery were doing a ton of lat pull downs and pull ups like I was getting to really focus on the row and your horizontal fibers will be very very beneficial um, still don't take it you know extremely heavy while you are doing rows you still want to you know make sure that you are taking it easy that you're not pushing yourself too hard but that you are still focusing on activation and my muscle connection from here just slowly continuously add on weight as you feel comfortable um, when you also feel comfortable add in pull-ups i would actually highly suggest starting with the assisted pull-up machine and using lighter weights just so you aren't putting a ton of your body weight on your incision sites right off the back um, the also the assisted pull-up machine can also help a lot with just really working your back muscle um, because you can actually go all the way down and all the way to the top. So I highly do suggest that. That's actually my favorite machine right now to use. <laughs> I love pull-ups, but the assistant machine, it just allows you to do more reps um, and not have to really rely on grip strength a ton just because once your forearms and your arms tire out, you can still kind of just hang on um, and use really your back muscles throughout the rest of it. Um, so definitely give the assisted pull-up machine a look it does not make you you know any less masculine or anything of that sort to use the assisted pull-up machine a lot of, a lot of bodybuilders actually enjoy using the assisted pull-up machine for this exact reason um, because there is some correlation between um, higher reps and hypertrophy so muscle building muscle mass due to allowing yourself to build up lactic acid and getting a good pump which can be an indicator for muscle gain 
So the assistant pull-up machine is very, very good for that. <laughs> But anyways, guys, that is all I have for you. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any other questions. Um, again, this is by no means like exhaustive. Um, this is just some guidelines and some tips that I would do. Um, subscribe, hit the bell notification button so you guys can stay up to date. Also, I forgot to mention, I now have community posts. So if you have not yet, make sure that you are subscribed and hitting the bell notification button so that you can actually be notified when I post community posts because sometimes I will be announcing winners for prizes in those. I will be announcing giveaways in those. Uh, but also, it's another way to kind of get to know me a little bit more. I'll be asking like fun questions. Also, if you have not yet, um, follow me on IG at MorganZone551 if you are interested in inspirational fitness stuff, seeing how my bulking journey is going. If not, you can also check out my fitness website if you are a beginner. I post a ton of blog stuff there going over how to really optimize your training, how to optimize your nutrition. Check those things out. Um, if you are interested, but without further ado guys, it is your boy Matt Turner. I hope you guys have a great morning, evening, day, or night, wherever you are, and I will see you guys later.